Are you wondering how to keep your genealogy research organized? In this video, I'm showing you how to use Google Chrome bookmarks to organize those genealogy websites that you frequent often. Plus, I'm going to be showing you a little tip about Google alerts on your calendar. Hey there, if we haven't met before, I'm Lisa with Are You My Cousin and this YouTube channel is designed to help you find your ancestors, grow your family tree, but not be overwhelmed in the process. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, you're in the right place. Now you might be wondering, Google Chrome bookmarks? Well, with Google Chrome bookmarks, you can keep all those website, genealogy websites that you frequent just a click away, whether you're researching at home or on the go. So let me show you how. All right, so let me show you how to set up your Google bookmarks. And so we're gonna start with the basics to find your Google bookmarks if you've not used them before. Um, and I am over here on Google Chrome. It's going to be, the bookmark bar is gonna be right here usually at the top. So it's gonna be right below where you put in the URL. If you're not seeing a bookmarks or you've set some up but you're not seeing them, come over to these three dots right here on the top right hand corner. If you click that and then you scroll down to this, it'll say bookmarks and list. Let me show you, let me hide that, okay. So if you don't see your bookmarks, what you can do is hit those three, come down to bookmarks here, bookmarks and list, and then come up here and about the third tab down, it'll say show bookmarks bar. So it's possible if you're not seeing it, yours has been hidden somewhere in there in your settings. So that's where the bookmarks bar are. Now, what do I put here? I put things here that I need to use or I need to frequently um, look for. So, you know, I have my Google Photos, I have my Google Drive, my emails, my website is right here. So I put all of these um, things that I need to access frequently here. You can see I'm, we're planning a wedding in our family. So I have a, a, a bookmark bar there, a folder for wedding sites that I need to work out. So um, I have a lot. This is where I'm putting things that I want to access frequently and quickly. So I wanted to show you how to set that up. So I'm going to actually do set up some bookmarks for, say, my North Carolina genealogy research. So here we are. We're over at the North Carolina Digital Collections page. And so I know that this is one that I frequently research a lot. I do check back on it for updates. So it's one I want to make sure I access pretty easily and pretty quickly. And so I can just hit this little star right here. It'll say, okay, great. We've added this page to the bookmarks bar and I can say done. And there it is right there. Now, I know that I want to put a number of bookmarks up here for sites that I use frequently and I want to group them together. So I'm going to take it up another level. I'm going to actually create a folder. So much like I did here with recipes that I was interested in, some of the wedding things, I created folders. So I've got, you know, a nice little folder that then I can open up and have everything that I need quick, um, handy, you know, right at my fingertips. So I just hover at that bookmark bar. I right click and I look at my options and it says add folder. So I'm going to add a folder to this bookmarks bar and I'm going to name it and I'm going to call it North Carolina genealogy, or I could even put it, you know, my genealogy, whatever. And I'm going to hit save. Now I could put it in one of these other folders, but for this case, I'm going to hit save. There it is right there. And if I click on it, you can see that it's empty. Now I want to put in that site, this digital collection, North Carolina Digital's collection site. So I'm gonna actually hover it and I'm just going to drag it right over into there. And so when I open my North Carolina genealogy fo folder, there it is right there. So you can drag and drop if I already had some up there. Now, let's go find some more that I need to add into that. So another one that I like to use is um, this site from UNC Chapel Hill is called Documenting the American South. So I like to keep this one bookmarked as well so I can access it pretty quickly. I'm going to say, all right, perfect. Let's go to that star right here. I'm gonna, and if I hover over it, it says, you know, bookmark the tab. I'm gonna click it. This page is saved to North Carolina Genealogy. Perfect, I can hit done. And if I hover here, get my error out of the way here. If I click on that, you can see it's been added to it, right? All right, let's find another one. So actually, I actually want to put my heritage site in there. Now, not necessarily because it's specifically North Carolina, but because one of my family trees is here and I want to have quick access to my family tree. 
So I'm going to do that. Now, what happens if I click it and say, I don't want it to be in the folder. I want it to be somewhere else. So it's automatically adding things to the previous folder that I was using, but maybe that's not where I want that to be. So I can click edit and then I can, where it says folder, I can drop, do a drop down here and I can say, okay, I really just want that in the bookmarks bar. I want it standalone in the bookmark bar. And so I can do that. I click on bookmarks bar and I cl click done and we'll see it appears right here. So perfect. You know, now I'm actually, you know, again, I've decided, nope, I don't want it standing alone. I want it to be in my North Carolina folder so that because for this one particular family, I can just slide it right over there. Yep. And there's one other, you know, I can do the same thing with Ancestry. I can bookmark it. It goes right into that North Carolina genealogy and click done. Now, what happens if I bookmark something and I'm like, oh, wait, you know, I see all those. I'm like, oh, wait, I really don't want that particular. I don't want this site in there for whatever reason. I don't want genealogy. So I just go in and I, I unclick this. Oops. I unclick the star or I click that star again and it'll say, what do you want to do? Do you want to remove it? And I'm going, yes, let's remove it. And as you can see, now it's no longer there. So if you make a mistake or put something in the wrong folder, you could, it's easy to either remove it or put it in a different folder that way. Other ideas that you might want to do with, for folders that you might want to bookmark might be say, I might go in there and go right click, let's create a folder bookmarks for sites that I use when I'm researching my Talbot family, because I do a lot of Talbot genealogy research. I want it to be in the bookmarks bar. You know, if I wanted it to be in North Carolina genealogy, I can click on that and I can create a new folder right there. So I can create my, I have those sites that I did, but I also created a, a new folder. So I have a subfolder in there. Okay. So that's enough. That's one way to do it. Or I can just say, nope, I really want the folder. I'm going to create a folder on its own and I'm going to maybe make this one. I, okay. Well, we'll call it listen genealogy. Listen family. Now I definitely don't want to put that in the North Carolina one. I want that to be in just the bookmarks here because well, it's not a North Carolina family to research. So I can have it go right into the bar there. And that's really all there is to it. So next time I'm researching, I'm hopping on. I've got 20 minutes. I'm going to do a little look up. I want to check my family tree. I can hit that North Carolina genealogy and go, okay, great. I'm going to go straight into the digital archives. Let me see what they've got, what's new. Let me see what I can um, do really quickly there. Maybe there's a certain collection I'm looking at. Maybe I just want to see what's new but I'm ready to go. It's simple and it's easy to use. Now let me know in the comments below if you're interested in learning more about Google tools for your genealogy research. So let me tell you a little bit about Google Calendar Alerts and how they can help you with your genealogy research. One of the tips that I have frequently given is to check back periodically with genealogy databases with digital collections online from certain from archives to see what has been added and what might benefit your research. It's possible that you haven't found the records you're looking for because they simply haven't been digitized and made available online and you well can't get to the actual the original records themselves because you live a distance away. So what we want to do is make sure that we're going back and checking those major genealogy databases. I'm talking Ancestry.com. I'm talking MyHeritage, Find My Past, Family Search, as well as digital collections at state archives or other types of archives or repositories that you might use. So we want, but I know that oftentimes we have good intentions, but we don't always remember to check those. Well, Google Calendar Alerts can help you. You can simply set one up so that you get an alert on your calendar, say every three months, every quarter, it tells you, hey, today's the day, go check for updated databases. Once again, let me take you back over to my laptop and show you how to set up a calendar alert there in Google Calendars. Okay, so we're over here in Google Calendars and I want to show you how to set up a, a repeating reminder so that you are on a regular basis checking for updates from those genealogy databases that are out there that might newly 
added database updates. So in the Google Calendar, these used to be called Google Reminders. They might have even been called Google Calendar Alerts, but what they are called now are Google Tasks. And so what you would do is you would just click into one of the um, square, the date that you want. You would set, um, and it would open up the, t the box here. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and type in, I would could just, dat oops, database, oops recheck um, so I would know if I, this comes up I know I'm, I need to go back and check my databases I'm going to set this as a task so this is not an event or a count you know calendar appointment this is and a task so I'm going to set it up as a task now I'm going to click here I'm going to make this a repeatable I can add it if I want to set a specific time I can certainly do that I can say all right I want to do it um, at um, 9 a.m. on those days. You can set this for whatever you want to do it, or you can leave it just blank and it will be whenever you want. The thing here though, I want to do this on a regular basis. And so I'm going to click that little down arrow and I'm gonna say, I want to do this monthly, monthly on the first Wednesday. So the first Wednesday of every month, I want to check, do this database recheck. So I can click that there. If you wanna do it, um, less frequently or if you want you can create a custom time pe period here and so either way is perfectly fine but I'm going to say I want to do this monthly on the first Wednesday of the month and I actually go in here and I add my list of what it is I want to ch which base databases I want to check um, I would put in say my heritage check for their update Oop, I can't spell guys I can't Actually, I can spell, I can't type. Um, ancestry. Dot, oops, my there. Dot com. Find my, my past. Family search. And then I might also put in, say, the North Carolina State Archives, because I use them a lot. Digital collection it could really be anything it could be anything that you want any collection that you routinely check that you would want to check on an ongoing basis um, with that and then you, all you have to do is hit save so one thing you can see let's check it you can see i've got it here for the first wednesday again october comes around down here you can see october 1st so the first wednesday of october is showing the database recheck and so i'm good to go i now i don't have to go back in i don't have to worry about forgetting because every month it's going to come up and again you can set this for whatever time period that you want to set it for not a problem now learn more about using another one of google's tools that is google sheets for your genealogy research in the video on your screen now.